Multiply using the distributive property. Let's recall, the distributive property of multiplication states that a multiplication fact can be broken up into the sum of two other multiplication facts. Let's take a look at 3 times 9. We can rewrite 9 as 4 plus 5. Next, we multiply 3 by each addend, 4 and 5. Add the products. 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5 equals 12 plus 15, which equals 27. You can also use the distributive property to multiply a one-digit number by a two-digit number. Let's try an example. 6 times 14. Draw a 6 by 14 rectangle on grid paper. Think of 14 as 10 plus 4. Break apart the model to show 6 times 10 plus 4. Label and shade the smaller rectangles using two different colors. Use the distributive property. Find the product that each smaller rectangle represents. 6 times 10 equals 60. 6 times 4 equals 24. Then find the sum of the products. 60 plus 24 equals 84. So 6 times 14 equals 84. Let's try another example. 9 times 18. Draw a 9 by 18 rectangle on grid paper. Think of 18 as 10 plus 8. Break apart the model to show 9 times 10 plus 8. Label and shade the smaller rectangles using two different colors. Use the distributive property. Find the product that each smaller rectangle represents. 9 times 10 equals 90. 9 times 8 equals 72. Then find the sum of the products. 90 plus 72 equals 162. So 9 times 18 equals 162. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.